Hi, and welcome back to Temple Baptist Church Online Devotion. I'm glad that you're with me today. I'm finishing up this um, three-part um, set based upon uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. It's entitled, Timothy, Marks of a Disciple. And I've gone through, uh, back on the 22nd, and then back on the 26th, the first six of these marks. Today, I'm going to be looking at the last three of these marks that we see here from this particular passage. Let me read the passage to you, and then um, we can dig right into these three. It says, Therefore, when we could no longer endure it, we thought it good to be left in Athens alone, and sent Timothy, our brother and minister of God, and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Christ, to establish you and encourage you concerning your faith that no one should be shaken by these afflictions, for you yourselves know that we were appointed to this. For, in fact, we told you before, when we were with you, that we would suffer tribulation, just as it happened, and you know. For this reason, when I could no longer endure it, I sent to you, uh, I sent to know your faith, lest by some means the tempter had tempted you, and our labor might be in vain." And so we've already talked about the fact that a disciple longs to know that others are growing in Christ-likeness. They're a brother in Christ. They're truly saved. They're a follower. They're completely yielded to Christ. They're a minister of the gospel. They show evidence of being led by the Holy Spirit and um, submissive and obedient to the Holy Spirit. They labor for the gospel, making the name of Christ famous to all that they come into contact with. They uh, make sure that they're able to uh, and that they're obedient in encouraging, teaching, training, establishing, equipping others um, for the gospel uh, message and others for growth in Christ-likeness. And then as well, a disciple understands the struggle of men. Men have all kinds of different struggles that they face in life. And a disciple understands that, and they know that the only way to get past those struggles is through a deeper walk with the Lord and a greater understanding of His Word. Now today, let me share with you these last three characteristics that we see here in this passage, the first of which is that a disciple understands spiritual warfare and how to combat it. Paul says here in verse 4, we told you before that we were, when we were with you, um, that we would suffer tribulation. And tribulation is spiritual warfare. He speaks down in verse 5 as well, talking about the tempter and being tempted. He as well was tempted. And the tempter, Satan, was always at work trying to lead Paul, trying to lead other disciples astray. And so the disciple understands spiritual warfare. And they know that the way to combat spiritual warfare, first and foremost, is to be filled with, yielded to, and obedient to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit uses God's Word. That's why we talked about back on the 19th, receiving God's Word. The Holy Spirit uses God's Word to effectively work in our life, to help us to grow in our Christ-likeness, but as well to help us to face the spiritual warfare that Satan brings against us. A disciple as well sacrifices for the needs of others. Paul says here, For this reason, when I could no longer endure it, I sent to know your faith. He sent Timothy. And so Timothy had been with him, but now he's saying, Timothy, I want you to go, and I want you to be there. It's better for me not to have you here and to sacrifice um, your help, your assistance, and what you could do here so that you could go there and be used by God in that particular place. And so a disciple is willing to sacrifice. Jesus sacrificed. Um, he laid his life upon the cross sacrificially for us. And as his disciples, we're willing to sacrifice for the well-being of others. And then finally, a disciple can be trusted to have godly discernment and godly judgment. And so he sent Timothy so that Timothy could know 
of the faith of those who were the believers in Thessalonica. And he could come back and share that. But while he would be with them, he could encourage them, he could better establish them, he could correct them. Uh, he could be the person that they needed to be uh, to help them uh, understand better how to walk in their faith. So a disciple understands spiritual warfare, they sacrifice for the needs of others, and they can be trusted with godly discernment and godly judgment uh, because they're yielded, filled with, walking with, obeying the Holy Spirit who is at work in their life. I hope that that's where you're at in your life, that you're a growing disciple and that these characteristics are evident in your life as well. Um, at Temple Baptist Church, we would love to help you grow in that area. If you don't already have a church home, we would encourage you to come and join us. We meet on Sundays at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 6 p.m., and on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. And we would love to help you grow deeper in becoming the disciple that Jesus wants you to be. I hope that you'll like this video and share it with others, maybe share it on your Facebook, so that God could as well use these things to encourage others in their walk with him. God bless you, and I hope that you'll join me next time as we continue our study in 1 Thessalonians. See you then.